A cool application, ha, huh, applications really in, in calculus, that's surprising, but a cool application of improper integrals is the um, sort of paradox proposed uh, in the example of something called Gabriel's horn. Uh, and Gabriel's horn looks like this. We take the function um, y equals 1 over x, and we only look from x equals 1 to infinity, so really we can ignore the top part. But we take this blue region here, and we're going to revolve this around the x-axis like this. Do, do, do. And so as you can imagine, we get a horn or trumpet shape. Not trumpet. That's not a trumpet. I know my musical instruments. Don't worry. Uh, we get a horn shape that extends basically all the way to infinity um, and then opens up over here at x equals 1. And so the two questions are, what is the volume of this solid of revolution? And what is the surface area of the solid of revolution? Now, uh, AP thing, you don't actually have to know the surface area formula, but I will teach it to you here. You don't need to know it. It's just for the purpose of telling you how cool and confusing Gabriel's horn is. All right, let's start with the volume. And so for the volume, we have a solid of revolution like this. Okay, we're going to use the disk method. So we take a cross section here. And we're going to do pi r squared, pi r squared. We're going to integrate dx. And so the radius here, there is no inner radius, so it's just the outer radius. And the outer radius is 1 over x. So that's pretty straightforward. So we're going to integrate from 1 to infinity, uh, 1 over x squared dx. All right, let's keep going. Uh, if you recall from the last video, this integral is improper, and it ended up, uh, let's do it really quickly. We have 1 over infinity. Uh, x to the negative 2 dx, which is negative 1 over x from 1 to infinity. If we plug in infinity for the first limit, we're going to get 0 plus 1 over 1. So this limit is, or this integral is 1, but then we have pi. So the volume of Gabriel's trumpet, or Gabriel's horn, is pi. Cool. V equals pi. Awesome. Let's do the surface area. All right, the equation for surface area is related to the arc length. Um, so if you remember the arc length formula, we have 1 to infinity of square root of 1 plus f prime of x squared dx. Now what the surface area does is it takes that little piece of length and it rotates it uh, sort of like a solid of revolution. And so it rotates it and you get this like ring shaped. And so the surface area here is the circumference of the ring shape. Um, and, and the circumference is 2 pi r. All right, so we're going to have a, a factor of 2 pi here, and then the r is going to be the radius, and the radius here is the function value. So the equation for surface area is 2 pi f of x, and then times the arc length, because that's how thick the, um, this is like the arc, arc length there, it's how thick that ring, that sort of flared out ring is. So this is our surface area formula. Let's apply it to Gabriel's trumpet, where basically f of x equals 1 over x. We need to find f prime of x, so the derivative of 1 over x is negative 1 over x squared, so we're going to end up plugging that into there. So we get the surface area equals 2 pi integral 1 to infinity of 1 over x, because that's f of x, square root 1 plus uh, we, we're squaring negative 1 over x squared, so that's going to end up being 1 over x to the fourth dx. All right, we have our surface area, 2 pi, integral 1, infinity, 1 over x, square root 1 plus 1 over x to the fourth dx. Now, uh, there is no nice way to evaluate this, because it's, <laughs> really, look at that, that's disgusting. Uh, so we're actually going to compare this to another integral. Notice here that the square root of 1 plus 1 over x to the fourth, this, in, or this, this term, if you plug in any positive value of x, must be greater than 1. Okay, so because that this, this, this term here has to be greater than 1, therefore, when we put a 1 over x and a dx, dx, 1 over x, oh, and also put an integral and an integral, and a 1 to infinity, and a 1 to infinity, and a 2 pi, and a 2 pi, that this integral on the left, which is our surface area, because now it matches that, has to be greater than the integral here. And if you remember from the improper integrals video, notice here that we have 1 over x to the first, and because this power equals 1, it's not greater than 1, um, this integral here will diverge to infinity. 
And so here we got that the surface area must be bigger than infinity. Okay, so that's our surface area. So let's go back and look at Gabriel's horn. Here it is. Do, 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 do. All right, and so we came up with the volume was pi units cubed, and the surface area was uh, infinite. It was infinite surface area units squared. Okay, um, and, and here's the the paradox with Gabriel's horn. Let's say that I turn Gabriel's horn on its side like this, <laughs> and now um, I want to paint it. Paint it black. No, we're going to paint it red. Um, and we're going to fill it with paint. Okay? So I fill up Gabriel's horn with paint. Okay? And the paint fills the volume, <clears throat> volume of the, the horn. And so I, I filled it up with paint. And how much paint did I use? I used pi um, units cubed of paint. Awesome. I love paint. Uh, now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to pour out the paint. So, like, you can imagine we're, we're taking this infinitely long thing and we're pouring... No, nope, no, nope, wrong color. And we're pouring it out so the paint is coming out, okay? And what's going to happen when all the paint is poured out? Well, it's going to coat the inside surface, which is also basically the outside surface, but the paint will coat the inside surface like that. But how much surface area is there? Well, there's infinite surface area. So what we did is we started with pi units of paint, we poured it out, and somehow ended up with infinite units of paint on the inside. Weird. Please pause the video now and reflect upon how strange mathematics is. Yes, this is a weird paradox. Yes, it's kind of funky. Yes, it is in fact weird. Okay, but there is an answer. So ponder it, get confused, get lost in the beauty of what's going on, um, and then when you're ready, you can, you can continue. Okay, are you ready to continue? Here's the answer as to what is happening. All right, the main reason as to why this doesn't work is because when you think about your blue horn, and you think about the paint that is covering just like the inside layer of the blue horn, eventually the horn gets so thin that the paint can't cover it anymore because like the 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 horn gets thinner than any molecule of paint and so you can think about the paint stops here okay and so if we were trying to paint this mathematical object with a physical paint you couldn't actually do it because the inside of the horn would get so thin that you couldn't physically pass molecules or atoms of paint through it. Okay. The other argument is that if you had like pure mathematical paint, then you could theoretically squeeze it infinitely small and it would actually work out. So if you, if you were to fill Gabriel's horn with actual paint, you can't talk about how you can have infinite paint on the inside because really you can't have infinite paint because the paint will eventually stop somewhere around here. So it, it's not a great argument, but you can sort of see why, why it doesn't work.